now. And by the way, we will link to Juan's column in the New York Daily News. But we've got to return to the top story of the day. Juan? Right. And that's the killing of at least 12 people in a shooting attack on a French satirical magazine in Paris. Witnesses say mass gunmen entered the offices of the, of the magazine, Charlie Hebdo, and opened fire with automatic weapons. The dead reportedly include four cartoonists and two police officers. A major police operation is underway in the Paris area to catch the killers. The magazine, Charlie Hebdo, has drawn multiple threats for its caricatures of the prophet Muhammad. In 2012, the magazine's cartoon depicting Muhammad in pornographic poses helped spark protests across the Middle East. For more, we're joined right now by Tarek Ramadan, professor of contemporary Islamic studies at Oxford University in Britain, the author of a number of influential books on Islam in Europe. Can you respond? Respond to these developments in Paris. It looks like at least 12 people dead, a number injured in this shooting attack on this satirical um, uh, magazine, the satirical newspaper's offices, Tarek Ramadan. Look, uh, first, uh, we have to condemn uh, what has been done and what happened in, in Paris. That's not, you know, when we were, we are told that what they said is that the, the prophet uh, of Islam has, it's a, 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 a revenge and this is the way, no, this is just a pure uh, uh, betrayal of our religion and our principles that that's not acceptable. And my sympathy uh, goes for, for the families and the victims and, and whatever happened with the, you know, the journalist and one uh, of the the, the the journalist who was killed apparently I don't know if this has been confirmed is someone that I debated uh, in uh, 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 prime time TVs in France and I didn't agree with him and he was quite uh, uh, you know uh, 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 offensive in in the way he was uh, talking about Islam but. The only thing that we have to say is that we need to enter and to be involved in critical dialogue and critical discussions about what is happening in France and elsewhere in Europe. But by any, any uh, standard, we have to condemn what was done and, and say it clearly. This is betraying our principles, our religion and everything we stand for. And Tarek Ravidan, have we been able to tell from reports whether anyone has claimed responsibility for the attack? So far, there is uh, the, the only thing that we know is that uh, they talked about uh, uh, Islam. They were talking about the Prophet, and they say this is a revenge. So the only thing that is, they are connecting this to what the uh, satirical journal uh, or magazine wa was doing. This is the only thing that I heard so far. But uh, uh, once again, uh, there is quite clearly uh, uh, a connection that uh, was uh, 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 um, done by the people who did it when they were leaving. And this is why, uh, and it's quite clear that it is, it is you know, Charlie Hebdo uh, was known for a series of uh, controversial publications over the last two or three years, and I think that uh, the connection is quite clear. So this is why we have to be clear as much as uh, is needed today. What do you think is most important to understand right now? I mean, there have been a series of attacks on journalists and newspapers that have parodied, that have caricatured the Prophet Muhammad uh, in this latest um, attack. This is the, clearly the m biggest attack that's ever taken place. I think that once again, uh, um, we know what happened in, in you know, the, the some of the slogans and some of the statements coming from people like Daesh in, uh, or the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and in Syria. They are using uh, some of the controversial issues around the world and targeting uh, journalists or targeting intellectuals uh, and, 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 in fact, uh, trying to uh, uh, focus on some of the sensitive issues in, in, in space specific countries. So this is where, as Western Muslims, as Muslims as a whole, but also as Western Muslims, we have to be quite clear on the fact that the critical discussion that is now uh, necessary in our Western societies, be it in the States or in Europe or in France, we have to be involved. We have to make it clear that uh, um, there should be no uh, confusion. Islamophobia is there. Racism is there. But it's only 
Ukraine as citizens is only in a critical debate, is only with all the forces and all the, the trends within our society that are against any type of racism that we are going to resist and reform the minds and, and, and the hearts of our fellow citizens. And it could never be uh, accepted, never be uh, uh, supported such uh, uh, actions that are now instrumentalizing some of the frustrations that we have in the in the West as to, you know, uh, equal citizenship and racism and using this to uh, to support what is, in fact, uh, not acceptable and has to be condemned. So, so there is here a danger for us to see some of our uh, uh, fellow Ramadan, Muslims. We must leave it there, but I hope you will join us tomorrow. Professor of Contemporary Islamic Studies at Oxford University, visiting professor at the Faculty of Islamic Studies in Qatar, author of a number of influential books on Islam and Europe, was named by Time magazine as one of the most important innovators of the 21st century.